Welcome to Fine Dining. I'm Jen. And I'm Drew. Today we're going to try something new and let you know whether the dining is fine or should be left behind. So what's on the menu? So today we have the Everything But The Bagel Seasoned Kettle Chips from Trader Joe's. That sounds wonderful. It really does. They were $2.49 and I'm just going to, seems like a boring thing to do, but just you wait. I'm just going to read from the bag as an intro. Okay. This is the gorgeous bag. I say gorgeous because it actually, I don't know if it's going to come across on the camera, but it has this nice matte finish to it. <laughs> I really appreciate a nice matte finish. You do. That is a nice touch, Trader Joe's. Everything but the bagel seasoned kettle cooked potato chips right up our alley. <laughs> the reason I'm reading is because guess what? The blurb is in verse. Oh no. I mean, yay. Reach inside and you will find potato chips with something more. Everything but the bagel for sure. Garlic and onion for flavor that's full with poppy and sesame seeds too. Reach back in, you'll want another. A new chip love you'll sure discover. I had no idea you did the copywriting for Trader <laughs> Joe's because that sounds exactly like the kind of thing you <laughs> It's great. I wonder how many people have ripped into this bag, not even noticed its matte finish, and not even noticed that the blurb on the back is in verse. We hook you up and tell you the things to not, <laughs> not. You must notice these things. Now the fine diners are well versed in the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel chips bag. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Trader Joe's, you did good. Okay. All right, so. <laughs> Where'd Sorry, you here I am back. <laughs> um, I have also another intro for oh. this video. Okay, double intro time. Double intro. Sec Q second intro. And that is, I don't know how many Quentin Tarantino fans are out there. But if you are a Quentin Tarantino fan, you might have seen the deleted scenes. The scenes that ended up on the cutting room floor over the years. Well, there was this one scene that was supposed to be in Pulp Fiction that I always thought should have been in there because it's great. <laughs> and that is, there was going to be a scene where Uma Thurman talks to John Travolta about how there are two kinds of people. And those two kinds of people are Beatles people and Elvis people. And... Beatles people can like Elvis, and Elvis people can like Beatles, but you can't like them equally. You have to make a choice. And your answer to that question is who you are. <laughs> so, you're either a savory bagel person or you're a sweet bagel person. That's true. I can eat a bite of a blueberry, a cinnamon raisin bagel, and it could be good. Yes. But it is not going to beat a savory bagel for me because I am a savory bagel girl all the way. And there is no bigger, brighter pinnacle to <laughs> the savory bagel than the everything bagel. It's top. That's why they make everything but the bagel seasoning because... It's what makes it the joy that it is. Yes. It takes everything that's good, puts it all together. It's like the opposite of your thing of the taking all the colors and mushing it together and making a yes. horrific thing. It right. takes all of the salt, poppy, sesame, garlic, mm -hmm. onion. So good. See? So good. I know so it good. off the top of my head. Right. <laughs> and caraway in some. And caraway mm -hmm. even. 
So, okay, so we're excited to try these, everything but the bagel chips, because of those very reasons. Yes. I think you agree with me that savory bagels are the way to go. Yes. The problem with the sweet bagel is, is that if I want a sweet blueberry flavored thing with a hole in it, they've already invented that. It's called a donut. Yes. Or even if you didn't want it in that form, oh, I want a breakfast item, I want it sweet, I want it to have blueberry or banana nut or blah, blah. There's a muffin. That's right. delicious. Those are covered. Right. The, the bagel sweet. is a half measure that yes. doesn't... Very true. There are There is a bevy of sweet pastry breakfast items out right. there. So when you want a good savory breakfast item, you go, you grab for the everything bagel, some cream cheese, maybe some lox if you're feeling fancy. And you toast it. I mean, even capers if you really want them. <laughs> but you know. Yes. Yes, yeah, definitely toasted no matter what. <laughs> also, beetles, by the way. It's no beetles. question. It's I beetles. Mean, come on. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. Let's dig in. Let's do this. Okay. Um, so many choices. It, oh, this is a really big one and a fold and a foldy. Foldy. I took a nice little one. I think I want a little one actually. I'm gonna switch. I don't want to be chewing for five minutes. Right. Let's say cheers. Nice I have a little Pac-Man one. Yes, you do. A Pac-Man shaped. Here we go. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put the whole thing. I'm doing it too. Okay. Mm. I'm shocked, shocked that this kettle chip is crunchy. But wow, <laughs> that has flavor. It really does. That does not shy away from the flavor. No, it is very, very flavorful. It, it's super flavorful. It, I like that it, it, it's weird if you say, oh, it's an oily chip. It sounds bad maybe, but this tastes like if I went to the local swank restaurant and they said, oh, we've got some house-made kettle chips for 13 bucks, mm -hmm. this tastes like that. I mean... That, Drew, you got it perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what it tastes like. If you go to a, like a high-end pub or something and you order house-made kettle chips and they bring them in a basket, say... Yeah. With some dip or something. That is what this tastes like. This tastes like they're fresh made potato chips. Yes. Not only that, the crunch is amazing. Yes. We like a kettle chip here at Fine Dining. I cannot stress enough how flavorful these are. Yeah, if you're shy about flavor, you're not going to be into this. This is punching you in the face with. Yes. I can't tell. It's like. Garlic or onion or both. I mean, but it's probably both, but it's probably both. It's very strong garlic and onion. If you don't like that, you are not going to like these, right? This is way stronger than your average garlic onion chip. Yes. And like you said, the oiliness, what's funny is I'll let you in on a little secret here at fine dining. We like to watch other food reviews. In fact, this is how we were came to be. Yes. Right? Inspired. Because we like to watch other people review food. And we had seen several reviews of these. And the reviews are kind of why we passed them up a few times. People were not fans of these chips. A lot of people out there do not like these. I they say they're too oily. They say they're too oily. Too strong. And I guess the one criticism that they're saying that I kind of slightly biased. It doesn't taste exactly like the everything but the bagel seasoning. Mm -mm. It's stronger. It is stronger, but that's not a problem for us. That's Right. I really appreciate when a product goes for it. Right. They went for it. That's They definitely went. They took went the everything but the bagel and then they kicked it up a notch. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> Which is good because technically one could take a bag of Lay's and Sprinkle some everything but the bagel and say, oh, look, I've got my own. Right. It would not do the same thing. I don't know if we mentioned that there is such a thing as everything but the bagel seasoning. That came out a few years ago. Oh, everybody knows that. We keep referring that, to it. Yes. But 
I think Trader Joe's was first, right? right? But then everybody came out with yeah, their knockoff. Yeah, now you can get it from Aldi. You can get it from Walmart. There's a great value one. There's Lidl. Lidl. Yep, Lidl. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a story for another review. <laughs> um, but these are delicious. Yes. I'm going to give it a rating. Those are some gourmet chips. It better be a high number. It is a nine. Nine on the nose. Nine and a half. A nine and a half. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I think I'm going nine because I love them. I have nothing negative to say about it whatsoever. It's just nine and a half is so high. It is. But really, when you think about it, it's just a middle, a middle nine, isn't it? Yeah. I that's didn't true. say high nine. That's true. A middle nine. What is a high nine chip? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> you guys tell us what you think a high nine chip is. That's true. Please do share because we <laughs> will rush out and get them. I'll bet you one <laughs> of the russet chips is a high nine for mm, me. Yes. <laughs> this would be even better if it was russet. Oh, if it was if, russet. If they were russet. Ten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so take taking all this into account, yes, they are a little greasier. Yes. In the best way possible. Mm -hmm. They taste like they literally just came out of the fryer. Yes. And they brought them to your table. I think you've convinced me. Mid nine is, <laughs> I mean, these are chips to have for life now, which they better keep Yes, them. they better keep them. We forgot to do the sniff test, but the sniff test does not reveal anything here. No, it doesn't smell like anything. With as strong as the garlic onion flavor is in there, and probably as strong as my breath is going to be after we finish eating mm. this plate, like where I'm going to need several breath mints. Hey. <laughs> you wouldn't know that just by smelling it. It just smells like a high quality oil. You know, thinking about this and being very potato. garlicky and oniony, it kind of makes sense that we love it because we're huge fans of the wise garlic and onion chips, which are also pretty strong. Yes. And they are also very delicious. Yes. Different than this, but very delicious. Yes. Okay. So if you are going to Trader Joe's for one reason, hmm. this could be your one reason. It could be. At least for one, at least for one of the trips. I what mean, have you got to lose? You know, why do you only have to if have you one like, trip to Trader Joe's? Though? If you like everything but the bagel seasoning, there is at least a 50-50 chance you're going to be on board with us. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> We will see you next time after we finish this plate and maybe a little few extras of these chips. We will see you next time on Fine Dining. Fine Dining, y'all. <laughs>